Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on geometry. If the perimeter of a circle is equal to that of a square, then the ratios of their areas is. Now perimeter of circle is nothing but the circumference of the circle which is given as 2 pi r. And it is given as equal to that of a square. So it is going to be equal to 4 times the side because for a square the perimeter is nothing but we have to just add all the sides. So a square has 4 sides so it's going to be 4 times s. Now this is the first part of the given question. The second part is asking us to find out the ratios of the areas. So we have area of the circle is to area of the square. Now area of circle is given as pi times radius square is to area of the square is nothing but side square, side times side. Now we will rearrange the given expression in terms of side of the square and write it as s is equal to 2 pi r over 4. So this simplifies as pi r over 2 because 2 is going to divide 2 and 4 and we get it as pi r over 2. Now here we have the area of the circle as pi r square is 2. In place of side square we can replace it with pi r over 2. So we can write it over here as pi r over 2. The whole term is going to be squared. So we have now as pi r square is 2. Now when we open up the brackets it's going to be pi square times r square over now 2 square is 4. Now here we can see that since it is a ratio it is nothing but a fraction of these two terms. So r square can be divided by r square over this side and 1 pi divides another pi over this side. So we are left with 1 is 2 pi over 4. So now we can take it as a common denominator or we can just transfer the 4 over here. So 4 multiplies with 1 giving you 4 is to pi. But in the options given we do not have pi. Instead we have to change the pi to its rational form that is 4 is to the rational form of pi is 22 over 7. Now we can send the 7 on the other side so that it multiplies with 4. So 4 times 7 gives you 28 is to 22. So we can further simplify this because both go in the table of 2. 2 14 times is 28 and 2 11 times is 22. So we have the ratio as 14 is to 11 which is option B. So this is how we solve the given example. Hope you have understood and liked my video and thanks for watching.